So again, we can begin by taking a look at our file structure by typing ls. You see all of our files here. I went ahead and cleared the back scroll with command k. Now if we wanted to create an empty text file, all we would need to do is use the touch command. So I'm going to type touch and then the name of the file. And again, this is going to be created in the directory that we're currently in. So I'm going to do touch and then test.php. Now if we do ls, we'll see our file has been added to this list. Now if we wanted to manipulate the contents of this file, we could simply open it up in the vi editor by using vi and then typing the name of the file. And you see here we have the cursor up here, and then we have all of these tildes, which indicate that this is empty content. There isn't anything there. Now just like before when we were in vi, we need to switch to insert mode by pressing the i key. And now that we're in insert mode, we can begin typing where our cursor is. Let's go ahead and do hello world. So I'll do an opening PHP tag, and then I'll do echo hello world, and that's it. Let's go ahead and exit out of insert mode by pressing the escape key, and then let's run a command by hitting colon, and then typing w, q. Again, this is save, and then quit the editor. Okay, now just for kicks, let's go ahead and run this by using the php command and passing it the name of the file test.php. When we do that, we see hello world printed here, and then our new command prompt afterwards. Now let's say we want to move this into a test folder. So let's go ahead and make a directory by using mkdir, and then the name of the directory, we'll call it test. Now if we do ls, we'll see that there is now a folder called test, and here's our test.php file. So now let's go ahead and move our file up. So we're going to use the move command, which is mv. We're going to type the name of the file, and then we're going to type where it's supposed to go. In this case, it's supposed to go into the test directory. Okay, now if we do ls, we'll see that we have our test folder, but our test.php file is gone. We can see what's inside of the test folder by using ls, and then passing it the directory we want to see the listing of. When we did that, we have our test.php file in there. Now when we want to rename a file, we also use the move command. So let's go ahead and do that. So we'll use mv for the move command, and then we'll pass it the first parameter, which is the name of the file. Again, this is in the test directory, and it's test.php. And let's go ahead and rename it to test inside of the test directory, new test.php. Now if we do a list of the files in the test directory, we'll see that we only have one file, and it's called new test. Let's go ahead and go inside of the directory. I'm going to go cd test, so we're in there now. And let's go ahead and copy this file by using the cp command. So cp, and then the first parameter that we pass is the name of the file. And then let's go ahead and name it copy.php. If we do ls to list the files, we see that we now have two files, copy.php and newtest.php. If we want to go ahead and delete one of these files, we can use the rm or remove command. And let's go ahead and pass it as a parameter, the name of the file that we want to remove, and press enter. Now if we do ls, we'll see we only have one file listed here. Let's go ahead and remove this directory. So I'm going to back up to the containing folder of this test folder. I'm going to do ls just to make sure that we're in the right place. Sure enough, here's our test folder. And I'm going to do rmdir. Now this isn't going to work because you can only remove a directory that's empty, but let's go ahead and see what happens when we try. So and then I'm passing it the name of the folder. And it says, test directory not empty. Okay. So if we wanted to remove everything that's within a directory, so this is called a recursive delete, what we can do is use the rm command, which is the remove command, and pass it the r parameter, which is short for recursive and then we can type the name of the directory. Now at this point it's important to be very careful with what you're doing because none of these files go into a recycle bin. Once they're gone, they're gone. So especially if you're using the tab in order to autocomplete your directory or file name, you need to be doubly careful that you're using the correct folder and correct file names. I'll go ahead and press enter. And now when I do ls, we see that our test folder is gone. 